Hello, everyone. Hello. Captain's Cup final. Brett Williams and Paul Berry. Old teammates. Brett went to lag. I've got the Hitman reffing. The Hitman. Me and Daryl were trying to work out what it said on the back of his shirt earlier. He looks nothing like the Hitman. <laughs> Daryl said it, the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> got any predictions in? First well, or six? I've got the mask, <coughs> yeah. Um, I think it all depends what Paul turns up, because if Paul can sort of turn up, match Brett in most shots, you know, shot for shot, be a close final. Um, obviously, people think that Brett would be favourite, but like I said, if Paul can start well in this match, yeah, I'd uh, fancy it going close, but um, yeah. Breaks, red goes down. Got a messy break. You still f slightly fancy um, red uh, over yellows. Yeah, even though he has got an easy, you know, easy start on yellows. Well, he's got easy starts on both, isn't he? Um, but yeah, yellows are more congested, definitely. Tables look like they're playing nice, Connor. Oh, yeah, lovely. You played on it earlier in your. Yep. Bang you on. It twice early. You played them twice, didn't you? This table. Yeah, this morning. Yeah, both times. Yeah. Mm. It's quite forgiving as well. Yeah. A few times that I thought a few balls shouldn't have gone in, they hit the cushion, and still, still dropped in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah red pockets are sliding like the cushion. selective so. for reds. Oh, well, just as you were saying, they're forgiven and you know, yeah. pockets forgiven. He's <laughs> maybe, maybe that bit pacey, but still not expecting to miss that. So Paul's got his first chance of this match. First, in the first frame. Is he going to be attacking and going to it, or can he play one of the yellows into the? Yeah, that one there into the pocket, but. Yellow mid to push through the white and try and be on one of them to middle, is it? Maybe. Or pop the yellow nuzzle out of the way, and one of the yellows might go into the top right afterwards. I don't know if he's got an angle. He looks a bit straight, to be fair. Looks like he's running away from the reds, reds and yellows. Yeah. I'm glad he got the white out. It's not bad, though. Be a big shot now, though. Brave to take this on. What, yellow into middle? Yeah, he's splitting all. He's Splitting it right open if he misses, but well, you do feel he's got to play some sort of cannon at some point. But like you said, yeah, he's going for it. One. If he gets this, he might have a good chance to win the first frame. Yeah. <coughs> Early doors. That's that was the spot. only only danger of that shot, wasn't it? Is he was opening it all up for Brett down. <coughs> Unless Brett, Brett can see the top red over the pocket, then. Got an I think start. he can play the plant, oh, can. can't he? Oh, okay. He might be looking to cut that red back to the bottom left pocket. Hold well. on the yellow. He'll be pushing that yellow up towards his red as well off this shot, you'd imagine. A bit of insurance. Yeah. Yep. Like that. He's missed the red there. Just a little bit of movement on that shot from Brett. I thought he might have... Uh, I fancy him to pop that and still carry on, but yeah, just like you said, though, he was always pushing that yellow down there when he was a bit of insurance, but mm. yeah, I still don't expect him to miss. Paul's got a chance though to pop that. Well, Oof. has he not popped that red over the pocket? I don't know. Balls are flying everywhere there, but this is a better chance for Brett. Paul just don't put that yellow near the red, 
just made it a little bit awkward. I know the reds are flipped there, but that yellow is just around the far that red at the top left could make a little bit. I was going to say, he hasn't got the easiest of starts, though, has he? Like Tricky when he gets down. Well, that should never have went in because he did miss that up the cushion. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, see if Paul fancies a double. Pots a double. Clears the two yellows in the left middle. We might have to use skill shot presented. <laughs> we might have to play two skill shots. Bottom, both bags are covered. I think you are hard against the double, but. Yeah, they are hard to judge with the new cloths, but. I think he's got to work his way from, you know, down the bottom of the table first, and he, or top of the table as you look at it. Yeah, he wants to clear that red up by the yellow where Paul put. He wants to get rid of that, so he's like you say, he's left the three bottom reds, yeah, and the black. Sure, he's going game here. Can put the white in a big area here, so he shouldn't be. Uh, he shouldn't overrun it or underhit it. Oh, he's over it. Oh, he's hit it a bit hard. But he plays wow. it he's oh got a lucky kiss perfect. there. I'm surprised he played it so hard, but mm. it's turned out perfect. I suppose if two reds over the bottom bag, he'd have been so unlucky to be, Not to be, be on, on any of them. Yeah. If he'd fought a bit of pace, you know, not, not much risk in the pace he shot. But. Those two balls quite quickly. Yeah, well, uh, do you know what? We're both thinking the same thing, I think. Uh. Mm. Nice straight black to the middle for first frame for Brett. And it's there. Uh, One zip. One nil to Brett. Paul's Never. probably, uh, the nerves are running through Paul a little bit. This is probably his first final uh, for a couple of seasons. Mm. He needs to settle down in this match because he doesn't want to let Brett get off to a good start. He needs to keep with him early. Let's have a, look at a little look at the schedule for today. The Premier Division Cup final next. Nice rack against Beastly Boys. So you'll be participating in that one. Yep. Be commentating myself, but that should be a well. Two, the last three fine, you know, the Premier Division Cup. Yeah, they've got the League Cup, cup League Cup final at one thirty p.m. I think that's a bit bit of an error there from Darren. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. Yeah. Um. Right. Back to the action. See if Paul can just set himself down with maybe just a good break, a few pots on the under his belt just to get the get the arm, get going. arm going. It's a good break. Yeah, he's hit them well. He hasn't potted. Oh, he has. Oh, he he's sneaked the yellow in the middle. Apologies. I think the reds. Are, well, reds are the only one he can go for. Yeah, he's got a nice starter on the red. I think he can drop drop the red in that he's on, and then I'll probably elect for the double that's near the yellow tied up. That's his only difficult ball. Would you play it now, would you, after this pot? Probably, yeah, I think so. Well, you I'm might not even be sure able to drop Paul it in the middle. That double, cause he's, I don't think Paul would be too keen to open up the yellows too much for uh, yeah, but, yeah. Brett. I think, um, I think... I don't know if he was looking at just dropping this red and then he can just drop the red in the middle. I don't know if it actually goes. I think he's elected for the double. I think he might be trying to cover this bottom right pocket with this long red. No. Oh, yeah. Paul is going straight for the double. Mm. I think... I know what you're saying, you know, as a, a risk to take, but Brett's got a yellow on the left-hand side of the table. It you know, doesn't really go anywhere. I think I'd have went game there and went for the double. Guaranteed to be on the red nicely after it because he's running away from the reds. But 
Like you said, if we did get that double. I think Brett's just going to play safe off this yellow, is he? Right on the top cushion. Oh, that's even better. See, this is what Paul doesn't want to get really embroiled in a tactical battle with Brett. He wants to try and keep the balls as open as possible. Um, but it's a good get out. Yeah, yeah good shot. Chance here. Yeah, like I say, he's just got that awkward yellow on the left hand side. Just wondering if he can pop this one, stun it onto the cushion, and then play the yellow bottom right and try and come across and knock that yellow out off the left cushion. What off of this shot off now? This shot, yeah. <coughs> if he can get into the cue worn off, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely on. Yeah, he's digging down at it, I think. It's half ball cannon on this yellow. He might not... Well, oh. He's a bit too hard. He didn't really get the reaction on the white. But not a bad effort, but... Still got the problem with that yellow. There's the one pocket top left that goes into. Top right. Oh, sorry, you're on about the problem. <laughs> yeah, I thought you're on about the one he was playing. No, left and right in it, bro. Left and right. I didn't realise you're on left. about the. Uh, the As we're looking. One. Um. It's <coughs> a tricky one to. Get out to be fair. I think the only way he's going to get it out is putting the white off the top bottom cushion and, up and knock the yellow out. I think he can play the yellow on the blue spot, can't he? And just just drop it in and then just leave leave the angled screw straight back. What and then play the yellow on top the left. yellow and then yeah, play the the yellow that's awkward last. Top left and the black and the white. So just drop this in and then just screw straight back in a line. But mm. he might have ran for a little bit too far there. I think he's all right. I think he can screw back there. He's got to be careful of over screwing it. Possibly leave himself hampered on the red on the left hand side. See how he, uh, how he puts the white on this shot. Looks a bit pacey that. Oh, exactly he snooked himself. Thought, huh? Yeah, he didn't want to. I thought he, he didn't need to screw back maybe that far, but he probably thought any kiss on the red he'll have a shot. Have a shot on the yellow, yeah. So he's actually quite probably unfortunate. It was unfortunate to kiss the red and then you know, to land up where he has. Yeah. Um, not sure if he can get off the right cushion. No, he's going two cushions to get this yellow. This is a tough hit. Good shot. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a great shot. Got great white as well. Look at the white. But Paul's in control here. You know, he's, he's got plenty of reds. He can hide in behind. He can. You take the clip in the middle, or would you play for the snooker? No, I'd probably snooker. just play the snooker. But that's a poor shot from Paul. You know, he's left an edge on the yellow. He had four reds to hide in behind, and he's Brett should never have had a sight of this yellow. I think if he can see the yellow, he can just clip off and put the white at the top of the table, mm. can't he? I don't probably know if he can. If he plays cushion first, he's maybe a I little. Think he bit has dangerous. got a total, hasn't he? I don't think he can. Is it really? I think okay. he's coming cushion first, yeah. He's got to be careful after it in the yellow where the white's going. It might be tracking towards the top left. No, he's played it well. He's got the full. Is it in? Mm. Where is it? Let's see. It's even. Yeah, that's the place it's going. Like, these are the sort of frames that Paul's oh. got to take. He's all right there. He can take the one in the middle, left middle, leave the white where the red is, and he's in prime position. Just try and get the pot here in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, should be one one a piece here. Not much Commentator's to do here. curse, I think. Well, I won't take it too early. He's going to be taking the the hardest red after this shot, and then it's just left middle, right middle, black left middle. It's easy to say it when you're sat here. Mm. Paul's having a good look at these two reds. Can, a bit tight, than you think? Wow. Well, 
I don't think, no, it's one. not necessarily the wrong shot. You can clear that out now. Yeah, good shot. And now he's got choices. Oh, he's hit that wide. Oh, that's so poor. Just, just <laughs> take your time just, or just, just, pot. just pot it. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> it's probably early, you know, early doors, isn't it? Your arm's still a bit stiff and you're just trying to loosen up, but I wouldn't have expected Paul to miss that one. Has he left enough of this yellow corner for the top left? Top right, sorry. No, he, he, un he can't pot it. Can you bend it slightly? I don't think so. Sure about that? Well, yeah, he's lined sure about up, that? I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no, oh, no right, yeah. He was just, what was that? I think he's got a nice white, well, I can see. Oh, is it? Oh, well. <laughs> well. I think that's a shocker. That red goes past the black in the middle, I think. Yeah, I mean, he was always... It was a tough shot to not leave nothing, wasn't it? From You know, he couldn't see the yellow to pot it. He was just trying to get a good white. No, but... Oh, maybe that red doesn't go in the middle, though. No, I think it does, but... Ooh. Mm. <coughs> Paul's got to be ready now, because he's played a good shot there. He's going to get a good chance. He's going to get a chance, these, yeah. This frame, so... Unless Brett hits the yellow and gets lucky in a snooker or something, but or pots it. There is a chance he could pot at the top right, isn't there? He comes off left cushion, you never know. That right yellow might be tracking over that way. Hmm. I think it's one of those situations where you just you got to hit it, and you know, you just got a bit of pace and just hope for a bit of fortune. Because where the reds are, he's going to leave a pot. No I think I'll probably play it hard. There's, there's no sort of safe place Four when red. you hit this yellow. You know, he's going to leave Paul just drop-ins, really. Unless he manages to get the white touched in behind the black somehow, which it could be a possibility. I don't know if he's going to hit this hard or not. No. Oh, did he hit that? No. Well, oh, Paul oh he did. I think he grazed oh, he it. He must yeah. have got an absolute edge on that yellow because I didn't see it move. I thought he did. But it's hard to see from this angle. Still but. there is. Perfect chance of the ball. Oh no. I'm not sure about that. I would have played the other red first. That red in the middle, you would not be playing that now, really. But he's still, you know, just one, just get back on that red. I can't believe that he played that so well. He might be tempted to play this red now. Yeah. Just stay still on the shot, Paul, and just cue it nicely. It's a shot. Yeah, it was a good shot. It was a good recovery shot. I mm -hmm. mean, he, he definitely ran through a lot further than what he should have, but it was a good shot. He's racing mm -hmm. around the table now. One, apiece. One, one frame a piece. <laughs> big pay, big frame for Paul there. Just make, letting Brett know that he's here. It's always he's important to get that, get that one, you know, the yeah, first one and get, get it on the board. frame. Settling down loads. A lot, sorry, and... Uh, Him a bit of confidence now. What's the predictions then? Are we going for? Well, I was thinking six three Brett when I stopped first started. I thought six three Brett, but like I said, if Paul can just stay with him and not let him get too far ahead, he could easily go all the way. Better break oh, there. Oh. Very good. Oh, he's crunched there. That was a hell of a break. Well, I think what he's left with, I think he can see a yellow, but probably reds, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think first shot it might know, be a difficult one. He could take the one. The, the only thing with reds, obviously, red they're in a problem. Left and cannon that one on the right out a little bit. But that's a bit. Yeah, but he's, he's got the red on the side cushion. He's got the red red at the top of the table. Yeah, he's electing for yellows, is he? I suppose yellows are all sort of in close distance from each other. He needs to slow up. Yeah, he's perfect. I think I would definitely would have went yellows there, I think. He 
can literally just drop this in and leave the white where the yellow is that he's playing. I think he's just off straight on this yellow. Yeah, I've oh. missed it. Well, this is what Paul wants to see. He wants to see Brett missing a few because if he does see him missing a few, I think it gives Paul, you more confidence. Paul, Paul as well, will gain yeah. confidence. He's a confidence player. He's that sort of player, you know. Yeah. If he can see his opponent is maybe just missing a few or you know struggling anyway, especially someone like best especially Paul. someone like Brett. You don't see Brett miss many no. at all, really. Mm. And he's such mm. a solid player, so. Brett's having a word with, a, with Magnus, our referee, about. Maybe just. No, I'm not too sure. No idea. Uh, yeah. Wow. It's a hard implement to play with that, but when you do use it, you, you've got to make sure you hit the white <laughs> and not sort of um, swing and miss it. But. Um, Anyway, foul by Paul. He really can't start doing that. He can't give Brett sort of not easy chances, but a chance to stamp his foot in this match. Yeah, it's quite a straightforward chance. Isn't it? He's, Sorry. he's perfect now. Little delicate shot on the plant, <coughs> and then play the other yellow into the middle as well. After mm. and then yellow in the bottom left. I think this plant is in the straight. Middle. There's no chance of sticking this yellow he's playing first on the cushion afterwards. You know, yeah, yeah he's all right. Yeah, yeah he's perfect. Just, just the pace. He's got careful options that there, wearing the, uh, the red near the blue, well, just below the blue spot. Just got to be a little bit careful. He doesn't sneak in behind that red. It's all he puts the white where it is now, or he needs to come back the right side. Yeah, he's us. played that. Oh, he's he perfect. played the other side, didn't he? Very good. Yeah, that was a great shot. Could have easily come up short <coughs> there, couldn't he? Mm -hmm. he? Seems to uh, have sort of. Sort of picked up the pace and yeah. the shots that with Brett. Not that you know, slow, but just saying that like he's, he's, he's playing at a very like a better pace, a, yeah. a quick pace, which is not a bad thing. Um, maybe he's just full of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you are confident, you you know you feel like you're never gonna miss, but. <coughs> Yeah, Paul needs to cut out the mistakes, silly mistakes to yeah, have a definitely chance. Definitely of, uh, had chances in all, all three frames, isn't he? I mm. think. Mm. And like we said before, against someone like Brett, you know, you can, it's vital that you take these chances. Needs a good break. Going for the second ball. Oh, he's dry. Not having much success what's off that. What's, what's your take on the second break? You a fan of it or? Yeah. You are. But I need, to, but not really I need, but I think it's something you've got to practice a lot because I it's just to get that contact on and off the cushion with the white and get the split on the pack. I remember a few years yeah, definitely, back, yeah. probably a good five, ten years ago, I remember Gareth Potts saying in one of his interviews, he said that he thinks it should be banned. Yeah. He hated it that much. He said it should be banned. You should be in the front ball. Well, there's nothing in the rules. You can break what you like. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you look at Mark Boyle's break. He, he side does the second the pack, ball. Second and ball. He's, he's mastered that break. He's probably practiced that break for hours and hours and hours a day. Mm. You know, if you're mastering it and potting balls off it all the time, why would you change? You know, a lot of players chop and change their breaks. Especially if you're not potting off your normal break, you're going to change it and maybe put the white in a different place. But 
But the balls have been spitting quite well so far today. Our first match in the... I think that definitely comes down to the new cloths as well. Because mm. p- p- like the cloths before, like it was not hard to get a good split, but they weren't splitting as well. But yeah, definitely with these new cloths, it definitely helps mm. on the break. Is he a little bit straight on this red? Oh, good shot. Had a bit more angle than I first thought. But yeah, he did very well to bounce that cue ball out and land where he is. White, he's ready to close still to the left middle. Still yeah, a bit of work. So I don't think it goes to the left middle. No. I don't know if that red goes down to the top right. He's looking at it. If not, then he's going to have to get the long stuff out, isn't he? And play the red over the pocket, but... graze the yellow with this red and flick it into the middle sort of thing like just graze the yellow and then the red might go into the middle yeah oh, it was great shot oh, good shot well it's more than a graze he played the red off the yellow pretty much yeah, that was a fantastic shot and maybe that was the only way it did pop past the black so that's a great shot from Brett. yeah it definitely didn't go in didn't go in plain ball did it clean no yeah he had to but yeah it was a great shot so he's just got to negotiate this white up the table for the red up to the top left necessarily play for that one but it might make sense because the red bottom right and then the black in the left middle but yeah he's perfect good. on that perfect just wants that cue ball now exactly where it is now off this next red will be perfect or anywhere around there I don't know, is he straight on the red or I is think he's he gonna have to play off the left cushion off the, off the side cushion with the white and back out still a bit of work though he's got to judge this yeah. well hasn't he yeah he could overrun this and then he'd be leaving it a bit awkward to get on the black or he could leave it short. I think he'd rather leave it short because he knows the white will be coming back across. Well, he could play. The black. He could play the red um, into the bottom right now, and then play the other one, and then sort of leave the black up into the bottom left. I think he's just gonna leave it. Yeah, that's the the better way to come. No, to he's that a red. bit more straight on it than we thought. I think I thought he had a bit more of an angle than that. But now it's just plain ball. Float this in, and the white will come across for the black. Doesn't need to do anything really. The cue ball just. This red at medium pace. I think he's missed it. Oh, I think he got a bad contact there. It looked like that red squared up a little bit. It just didn't look like a clean contact. It looked like a bit of a heavy one. All right, he needs to make sure you hide behind something now. He I needs imagine. a good snook. Well, he can't. He needs. He needs to be a good snooker because there'll be ways out of it for Brett. Would you pot this pot one? And yeah, then just, just pot a couple, just then snooker. You don't want to snooker I'd straight away. I think I'd probably pot, pot one. I would have probably potted that with a bit of top and then flicked off the I one think on the side cushion. I snookering him on that yellow on the right cushion. That's what, yeah, that's what I would have done. Played, potted that one and then played the snooker on the side cushion. But not too so sure. I expect Paul's just going to dolly up to this yellow. But it's going to leave Bretton up and down. He needs to block the up and down. And he should block the up and down as long as he doesn't overrid it. Oh, oh such no. a poor <laughs> shot. So poor. He wanted to block the up and down, and he didn't even do that. I don't. Und- I yeah. suppose he wanted to get his yellow out and open play, but don't in a situation don't like that, Brett. you can't leave Brett just a simple shot like that because he's going to hit that red, isn't he? And obviously, he's going to do well to finish on the black, but I think there is a gap between those two yellows. So if, it did, if Brett played this dead pace, like dead, not dead weight, but slowish, he could land on that black to the middle pocket. Yeah, I think the only positive of playing that yellow so hard is that he's. Made the black a bit difficult now, but yeah, yeah. But guarantee yourself a tough snooker because he could play the free oh, shot afterwards, that. can't he? Oh, wow. Doesn't miss that. He's missed that. So as it turns out, Paul oh, made a good shot, but it's like you I said, still, though, still it was wasn't a, it wasn't a tight snooker. No, it wasn't, it wasn't no. the best. You know, like I said, he left him the one cushion up and down. You expect Brett to get closer to that. Mm. Obviously, the new cloths and it. He got to allow for the slide or whatnot, but yeah, it's definitely a shot. It's got to be that middle middle bump. Oh, that's so hard, but it's worked out fine. Mm. Oh. I think Paul will be tempted by a snooker here. I 
don't I, I don't think he'll be going for this pot. Just a little mm. yeah, Nelly off the yellow and just cover up. Yep. <coughs> I think this is what Paul needs to do when he's not sure and he, he's got to just play the right shot and now he's got Brett in trouble. It is the right shot, but he's got the one cushion escape quite easily, hasn't he? You know, he can easily flick off the black and put the white at the top end of the mm. table and get a good white. You know, he never should have been, Paul never should have been landing where he did, really. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's played the right shot now with the snooker, but oh, he caught it a bit thick. There'll be no snookers anymore, and this is definitely a chance for the to level it up. He's just negotiating which yellow to leave last to come up for the black. I think it's the right one of the three, isn't it? Into the middle. Oh, it's wow. not bad. You can play this top and leave the white where it is. It's not bad. You might even just chip it in the middle, but is he playing another snooker? He's looking at it. I think he's just looking where to leave the white, isn't he? <laughs> oh, no, he's sure not. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't mind this from Paul because at least yeah, it's I did, but he's just left the one. No, I know, but like at least it's you know what I mean. It's, it's I don't mind that at all because because Brett would do the same to Paul, so it's just giving it back to him and he's just mixing yeah, I mean, it up a little bit. You it's, know, it's the from where he he was like it's the right shot, but he's had but two he chances. Made it now, a bit, like yeah, he has had two good chances and maybe just you know he's just running out of position too easily at the minute. And then you probably you know. He'll be close at potting this black in the middle, I expect. Does he think he'll come off two cushions? I'm quite surprised that he didn't hit the, the previous red off the one cushion. So. Is he trying to get in behind the black yeah, and he's playing it slowly? Just I, don't, I wouldn't play it like this. No, that's not got the pace. I wouldn't play it like that. Right, that's got the pace. Oof. Yeah, but... I'll tell you what, that's not bad though, is it? How does that yellow go? Because if he underhit it, Paul would have had ball in hand anyway, so... I thought he might have played it a bit. Yeah, oh my! But Brett's had a couple of these long ones with the whites of the cushion, and he and he's um he's missed a few. So this is tough. He yeah, has it's missed tough a few that. like this today. And he's missed that one. No, he's he hasn't. It. Oh. Right, right. Paul, he's down very Are we going to get any more chances, Paul? Oh, he's chucked everything at that. <laughs> but he's That's got the pot. No man's land, though, isn't it? He's going to have to cut the one he's nearest to, I think. Yeah. Mm, don't fancy him for this. If he, if he misses it, a bit it thin. Oh, what a shot. Good pot, Paul. Just drop this in the middle. Don't play up in the middle. Just drop it in. Let gravity take over. It's there. Oh, oh did that not. dive in there? That looked good. Well, wow. Did that dive in or did you just miss it, Connor? You just missed it, didn't you? I think you just missed it, yeah. It did look like the yellow might dive, but... You can't have any complaints there. You had three or four chances, like, you know, to win that frame. Yeah, <coughs> Didn't quite happen. Yeah, I think that might be the turning point in this match. I think, you know, free one up now, Brett. He's probably fancy in this match now. So Brett leads 3-1. Could have went either way, these four frames. Paul could easily be free one of himself for the chances he's uh, had in the frames. But yeah, this is a big big frame for Paul. He needs this one. This 4 1 down is uh, a bit of a mountain to climb. So he'll be uh, doing his best to pull the frame back here. <coughs> Brett 
breaking the uh, fifth frame. And he's given that a right crunch and he's lost the cue ball. So now this is where Paul needs to punish Brett. Punish him flat enough off the break. Ball in hand and get control of this frame. Bit unlucky there, Brett. Broke that very well. Just might have got a little flick off the white. The white flicked off a ball in the middle pocket. But just needs to slow down a bit, Paul. He's playing very, very quick. I know he's a quick player, but Paul he's just playing too quick. Did Paul just pop that off a free shot? What, what happened then? Um, Brett scratched off the break. Paul had ball in hand. And um, decided to take reds and get control of this frame, which, yeah, he has kind of. He's got the red on the bottom. Brett's got yellows. Is Brett going to try and uh, get two yellows out of what? Yeah, he did. It's a good shot. Yeah, that was a good shot. Absolute bonus as well that he's put the yellow in front of the red, I think. I think Paul's got a half a sniff. He can lock that yellow away now off this red in the middle. He's hitting into the red, isn't he? He's oh. hitting the red in, yeah. Oh, no. Disaster. Not want. He's down very straight quick. down. I'd, I'd and that's not good. Such poor shot again he, he just needs to keep it tighter in my opinion he, he's just playing shots and he's just not keeping it tight yeah I mean Brett's only awkward ball and he's just bumped that straight out mm. and just, and he just left, left Brett right in bread and uh, bread bread, bread. bread <laughs> and butter is it bread and butter <laughs> for Brett <laughs> <laughs> quite fancy a sandwich he's just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's just you, you, you've got to keep You've got to keep Brett tight, and you can't play loose shots against him because he uh, he will punish. I think he's on that left uh, left yellow of the two, isn't he? But mm. he'll probably go for the one over the over the pocket now. Come up table. Choice of two yellows in the right middle, or one of them. Yeah, if he, I mean, if he falls short, he has to have the yellow into the top right as well. He screws straight back. I'll do. Yeah, it's just as good. I mean, I'll have floated down the side cushion, I think. But everyone sees it differently. Yeah, he's perfect on that now. Well, we just noticed that the sausage rolls and the pasties have come out, were they? Or they went and bought them? I reckon they've been to the bakery on the road and got them. It's around the corner. <laughs> Go get me a pasty, mate. Then. I'm not stepping foot in that bakery. Don't you know that? <laughs> Like four yeah, one Brett. Shot. I've just noticed a comment in the um in the chat. I didn't see that. Brett six three for me. From not a darts player. I had a conversation with this chap last time. We were trying to work out who it was. He said he was from the South Molton League. I still didn't get his name. What was his name? Oh, oh no, was it Devon, your name? I can't remember now. I said the only players that I know in South Morton is Mikey Fawn. <laughs> and he said, Yeah, I know Mikey. But I yeah, I couldn't work out who it was. Go for it now and he's he's I, I just stop. can't I can't believe that he just played that shot in the last frame. He just opened opened it all up for Brett, didn't he? Mm. Brett had one difficult ball and he was just like, There you go, open it up. Maybe he knows his son's watching him. <laughs> Pressure on, like. <laughs> oh, that's another good break as well, though. He's unlucky not to put nothing off that. Yeah. Both, both sets of colours have got difficult balls, haven't they? Mm, reds marginally. Well, I don't like any of them, to be honest. They're both a bit 
Doctor. Both got in the same two or two balls, three balls tied up. Oh, I Didn't suppose get the yellow. yellow. Pop them over the pocket. Or the oh, white rubber. Way. Oh my word! Then I've seen that wow. a few times there. That white's looking like it's tracking in, and it would just <coughs> just hold back. He's done that a lot. Did it a lot in your triples final. A few times, a few players went. You think the white's going in? It just stops in the middle, in in the pocket. Sorry. Oh, Brett got away of one there. Is he playing the back double? Nope. <laughs> He's just pushing Paul's red over the pocket and putting his, you know, safe. I thought you could have played the back double and the yellow, then <laughs> down, down up to the top left. Yep. What, like John John did this morning, Gaiden, from that stonking long double? Oh, well, similar to that, but <laughs> a bit more containing, play at a reasonable pace. I know the white was in a difficult place, but... Not bad. It's not a bad shot. Red out shot. Not with the red out. Still got red on the side rail, and he's still got a red tied up, though, so... <coughs> Doesn't really want to move the red near the top left bag. Can he try and chip the um, the red up the line from where he is now? On the left hand side. On the left hand side, yeah, and just try and get the bag. Uh, it's quite thin, but white's going a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah, but these are oh. I suppose it's not a bad shot. Actually, trying to knock that red out, maybe. Because obviously Brett's got that yellow at the top left that's caused a few problems. And it's not the easiest of... The yellows aren't efficient. Well, oh. he didn't want to catch it like that because it's just mm. gifted a chance for Brett to sort out his awkward uh, yellows and uh, go 5-1 up. I don't know, was he a bit unlucky there? Or he just literally just got down and just didn't really think about where, where the white was going afterwards, maybe. I don't know. But it's over now. That shot from Paul. And Brett again's got a good chance to extend his lead. Yeah, it's not an easy chance, but it's definitely a chance. He'll be looking to come down on that yellow bottom cushion as soon as he can. I don't know if he's got an angle maybe on this one. To I don't think he's got an down angle table on this maybe. One. Can he punch it? No. This next, next shot, positional-wise, is going to take a good shot to get on this next yellow. Probably come off like two or three cushions and come around the left side of the table as we off look. Off two cushions, I think, right-hand side. Try and land on the... Oh. Yeah, he checked it up. He checked wow. spin. Did it check on that? I thought he might have played a bit of right-hand side to swing the white. Off two of cushions? Right, yeah, yeah. right-hand and then come back down and land. Sort of anywhere... I think he's just having a Around laugh and a joke left, with himself on the minute. left side of the table. I think he's just having a laugh and a joke until he put the wrong side on it. Yeah, on. yeah. I suppose with you know, sometimes you can play a shot and you well accidentally or you might just not put the required sort of spin on it. Has he got the last minute? Can he just come off the one cushion and drop on the one at the on the bottom there? Or no? I think so. He's got maybe Put a bit of oh, oh yeah, he went for the, the knuckle. He played it off the knuckle, <coughs> and again, Paul. All right, Paul Brett just has needs given to Paul quite a few sort of fouls and free shot opportunities. He just needs to play this one up on the left hand side of the table. Just roll it up up the pocket. That's the one. Just drop it up the line. Not too hard. Yeah, perfect. You know, free uh, shots. Uh, you don't you like to pot off your free shot, really. You like no, to just set up your balls ideally and then pop in the pocket but would have been better. But yeah, he's played that nicely. Up. Yeah, if, that, if he's just come around to look at that red, if that red does go past the two yellows to the bottom there, if he can just run through, if it's straight on the red, but I think he might I'm have not a sure bit of does. angle. Is he going to be forced to play the other? No. I think you can just play this and then play the other red he's close to up the top pocket. Not leaving yourself that's pampered. Not good. That's all right. That's, that's all right. You can screw back here. Yeah, this is that's actually not bad at all. It's all about the pace on this screw back. Just judge it. Don't want to over screw it, Paul. Really over screw. Oh, yeah, he's perfect. He's, 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 he's played perfect. it really well. He hit it hard because he knew that he could, 
if you play for the top cushion, there's no chance of a snooker. He took the snooker himself out of the, out of the equation there. Yeah, it was a good shot, shot from Paul. Really good shot. Hopefully that will get him going in this final. He needs a bit of adrenaline. He, I think he plays his best under the, with adrenaline and getting himself psyched up. So hopefully that will give him a, the boost he needs to get back in this match. I know it might be stating the obvious, but this frame is massive for Paul. If he can get back to four three, then you know you got you got to think that he's got a chance of you know even getting in front and winning the match. But that's another great split from Brett. Fantastic break. Selecting for yellows. No, he's not. He's going for reds. There's a nice confident pot for the opener. The only ball that he's got that's difficult, I think, is the black. Don't think it goes into the right middle. Good shot. Good ball. That's gone wrong. That's gone wrong. I think it was the right shot. You know, he needed to develop that black at some stage, but he was very unlucky to stick beyond the yellow there. It's not a bad shot. He's still got the two, two awkward yellows on the uh, right hand side. Oh wow. Wow. That was just careless. Very careless. Don't know if he can. Mm. Didn't know if he could like just screw into that little bit and try and avoid hitting into the red. But I think the angle he had, he was always going to be hitting into the red. Still got a shot on it, mind. 
isn't going to have much control of the white here. I was going to say he needs to rely on a bit of luck. And he has got it. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked for that black to come out any better. Wow. And that's 5-2 to Brett. Sorry about that, Connor. Just uh, having a look at Wayne Passmore's tips for the horses at Hexham at 4.40. Let's see if I can get back on my phone in the shot that Paul played and how it's a bit, a little bit loose. No, don't worry about that. Well, I don't know. What, what was he trying to tempt on that one then? Just I'll watch this shot here. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just inquiring, actually. I was asking uh, Kev Stuckey about a horse, Bangers and Cash. Bangers and Cash. And why he hasn't been running, but he's a jump horse. That's why he's not been running. <laughs> <laughs> the jump season's over. But no, the lad's just putting a few horse bets on. I was just having a little sneaky peek. What is it? The Derby day, isn't it? I'm not sure. But Derby day. Wayne wasn't really letting me in on the selection. Don't days, trust Wayne with his four <laughs> steps. Um, so Brett's 5 2 up. Did, did you hear about the um, horse story about Wayne? Oh, it's hilarious. Go and ask him about it in a minute. It's so funny. I think I won't bore everyone with the story now, but. He will literally be in creases when he tells you. <laughs> he basically, I think he was at the Royal Exchange and he put on a horse bet and everyone in the pub sort of, they all sort of chipped in for this bet and somebody told him that the horse had won. So he was like, oh, brilliant. So he started paying everyone out all this money. <laughs> <laughs> so he paid out about 250 quid's worth of money, like 30 quid to each pe person or whatever. And he found, and he checked his his betting app, and it said zero in the balance. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> "All right, what's going on here?" So he just paid all this money out of the cash point to everyone, and then he found out the horse didn't even win. <laughs> so, so he had to go back round the pub after everyone and ask for his money back. Oh, it's hilarious! What, did, he, did he pull up a corner, or did he? Just I don't know. Some the some woman said that this his horse won. I'm <laughs> 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 gonna ask him back in a minute. It's so funny. Oh, shot from Brett. Anyway, enough about the way. horses. Brett's going about his business nicely. Yeah, he's not quite on anything, but... Could be a turning point in this match, that shot. Could be. <laughs> but no, Paul's not out of this, you know, Dave. If he, if he can nick this frame and maybe the next one, you know... He'd be maybe be slight favourite because of the m momentum side of things, but yeah, I mean Brett's on the hill. He, yeah, yeah, Brett's he's got, got four bites of the cherry now, so yeah, that's not the best shot he's ever played. He's just tied up to his reds. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't brilliant, but but you know five two up. You've got four chances here. Tighten beyond the black. Do. <laughs> There was no arm in just trying to play that a little bit tight as the black was there. Just a little bit more screw and just try and get a bit closer. I think, yeah, some of the snookers Paul's played in this match, he's just, I think he's just he's just thinking to himself, he's just happy just to get the snooker. snooker like you say, not make it a tough, like a tight one or a tough, like just a tougher one to hit maybe. But they're all just one cushion escapes that you just leave them pretty much. Yeah, I and mean one cushion escapes. Oh, maybe not. two cushion escapes, you know. You don't he's expect Brett to miss many. He's definitely got the one cushion escape to hit the red over the right middle. He does look like he's going a bit narrow on this. So I think he might come inside that red. Oh, oh well, he, 
He hit the yellow. He was like wide. A it was a wide. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, though, with the new table is it it's is sliding. Yeah, it's yeah. very tough to judge. I suppose you, you, you're not forced, but you, you, you're going to put a bit of side in it, maybe just to allow for the slide. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to judge the side of the. Especially someone like Bray. He's been playing enough years to know that know the angle of a shot, and he's just hit straight into the yellow there. And you can only put that down to the, the, new, the, the new cloths, can't you? Positions, yeah. Spotted here, plant. Okay, shot. I thought he might have broke the one out on the right side of the table. But that one does go down to the it bottom right yeah, corner. Yeah, it it does still go. Don't get me wrong. Say but he needs to break that out. But he's obviously got to land on that yellow, you know, fairly straight. And the white sort of going away from that yellow when he pots it down the line, so he doesn't sort of bump into Brett's red on the right hand side, but. Has he come far enough for this yellow? Yeah, he's definitely on it. Mm -hmm. Can he get over there now with this yellow in the middle? And just punch it over? No. No, he's a bit strong. Oh, I wouldn't fancy that. Mm. Well. Yeah, he's not. He's going to have to play this slow, I think, if he wants to hold for that yellow near the red on the right hand side. No, he's played it too hard. He has. Way too hard. He might have a chance of bumping it out if he can pop see enough of this yellow over the bottom left. I think I'll just hit into the yellow full ball here and just yeah, leave the white yeah, there. Yeah, I think he is. Push the yellow over the pocket. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. I think that's the that was the right shot. Definitely. So he covers the black and pop him down the bottom left. What's the score in the football, anyone know? 2-1. God, United got one back as well, just for half time. Under one again, he's got two today. Yeah. Who got United's goal? Go on, let's show. Fernandez penalty. Fernandez. Oh, Gundogan, yeah, it was the first minute, wasn't it? Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne has set up both of them as well. So Paul's decided to pot his yellow, and I think he's just going to... Drop this in a snooker. He's hit it too hard. It's so poor. Like, just need that soft touch there from Paul. And he just, <laughs> I think he just sometimes he just sort of rushes into the shot. And I don't know if it's the adrenaline, but he, o he ends up maybe overhitting a Sorry, shot that he shouldn't have, you know, because he, he never should be letting Brett apart on this in a chance of the match. All I know that Brett's got absolutely no pressure on this clearance at all now. He can just drop this in, float the one down the rail. He doesn't even need to pot the one down the rail, does he? He just. Set himself up, there put it go. over the bag. He ain't gonna go for the pot here. He got, he no, got I, I think the angle he's got now, he won't. But he's stunned back. He's stunned back off that red I a little bit too far. This shot is gonna win Brett this match unless he does go for it. I'll be shocked if he goes for this. He has. Oh wow! Oh, great shot! Oh, he's perfect, great yeah. shot! I didn't think he could get down there for the white, but yeah, that was a brilliant shot. And this black for the match. Yeah. There it is. Uh, Good performance two. from Brett. I mean, Paul had a few chances. Mine and, and Brett, did. Brett did definitely miss yeah. a few and let Paul in, but it wasn't Brett to be. Got ahead. He, uh, he walked the match well. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's going to go home now and get practicing on his table, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's too much practice on his table, probably. He probably plays every day and every night. Anyway. We'll be back shortly with uh, the cup final, divisional cup final. And you're in that one, aren't you? Yeah, Beastly Boys against Nice Rack. Not sure who's doing the commentary on that match. But if, if I happen to be sat here, I'll go easy on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but no, good luck in that final. Yeah, cheers, mate. Nice one, guys. Cheers, everyone. Over and out. Mute both channels. What? Mute both channels. Who doesn't want to ref the...